Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing November. It's only November 6th, first week of the month. It's been kind of a tricky couple of days, though, and really it's basically because we're getting into the election period. So I've been discussing this in the trading room, and I said, you know what? I think December is going to be a solid month, and November, too, after the election. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait and see here. But so far to start off November, there have been some really good gaps, and then there have been some nothing burger gaps. So let's go over it. So this is the November advanced tracking. If you're interested and you want to trade with a $1,500 risk, some trades are a little bit more because it depends if we move the stop. Some are slightly less, but that's what an advanced risk is. It's around $1,500. You could have made $7,825 in the trading room since the start of November. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Skype. So today's gap, actually, that ended up being a huge play was MAR. It's set up very, very late, which is unusual, but this is one of the ones that sometimes you're watching, you're watching, you're watching, it rallied, and what I do is gap. So the stock closed here, gap down. Open, rally, drop, fell. Low today was 112 something. I don't, I didn't see how it closed. It may have even gotten all the way down and broke 112, but that would have been a dream target for this. It had a nice move. It did break more than two bucks. And for this stock, it was very tricky in the morning. It was very spready, very tricky, but it did set up later in the day. It's earning season right now. October is earning season, November is earning season, and it's a good time to trade. What does earning season mean to you? If you don't know anything about the market, I'll tell you right now, companies, report their quarterly earnings four times a year. So when they report, typically, what do they do? They gap. They could gap up, they could gap down. We look in both directions, but I typically go to the short side first. So to start out the month, this this was crazy because ECA ended up being a positive trade and ended up killing it, and it ended up working. This was actually a win, but I put break even because I said if you want to put the stop at break even because it was taking too long, but it ended up going out to be a positive trade. Then W was a loss, and the QQQs was a winner. So November started off weird, particularly after October, which is strange, but it ended up getting to be a little bit better here this week. Then was off on Friday. Gerard, my assistant, did a good trade in the room on WTW, Weight Watchers on Friday. And then the fifth was SYY, 1980, and today was the sixth. Election day, which the market was very strong. I got to be honest with you car actually was in the money at one point in the morning Then got stopped if you were looking for the bigger number it was about a half hour profit But if you held it for longer some people did some people didn't it was a loss Spy was a quick one a short one whether you held it into the afternoon period or got out of it into the close That was profitable for a small amount. We're up tonight in the after hours and Mar was a really nice trade, a late trade here. Like I said, even went further than this. I think it went more than a buck, 6,150. So all in all, November has started off strange, but I, I do think a lot of it has to do with elections and we're only four days into the month. If you're interested in trading, you can learn how to do it from me. I've been doing this for 10 years. And I think the best thing for people is to have the focus. That's one of the biggest things to learn from me. And I'm telling you right now, this information is free. You, if you focus on one thing in the market and get extremely good at it, which I have done, you can be successful and make money. You don't have to be a jack of all trades, and in fact, you shouldn't be. It's better off if you have the focus on one thing. So every morning, I'm looking at one stock symbol to focus on, particularly in the morning, into the open, and I'm looking at gaps, and I usually go to the short side first. I teach my method in a class called the Golden Gap Course. The next class is this weekend, only one more class before the end of 2018. I cannot believe that this year is almost over. It has been a really big year for me uh, and for the room and with the TV stuff I and mean, it's just been a fantastic year so November 10th and 11th is day one and day two then I'm doing a repeat of day one on November 12th so if you want to do it starting Sunday or you could do it Sunday Monday class tuition is six grand $59.99 US dollars classes online you could be anywhere in the world and take it and if you are interested, I would not wait to the last minute to sign up. You've got till October, not, uh, I'm sorry, November 9th to sign up, which is Friday at 5 o'clock. But I wouldn't wait to the last minute. you got to make sure you get the login information, the worksheets. You want to make sure you have no problems with Hotcom. And you want to be relaxed and ready to go with a good night's sleep before the class. My class is extremely intense, all right? 
So for more information or if you want to sign up, you must email me to sign up at melissa at thestockswish.com. And if you want a trial for the trading room from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, feel free to email me this week. Have a great day, everyone.